Hello friends, we are back in Bologna, Italy, and here for the 40th time the Cersaia Fair takes place, the exhibition of ceramic tiles and sanitary wear, and in a series of videos we are going to take a look at what's new and what's trending in bathroom design, and find out what these bathrooms will look like in the near future. In this video we will talk about sanitary wear, although there is much less of it at the Chersaia than there used to be. We have already talked about this, it is a kind of trend in development of the exhibition itself. Nevertheless, some manufacturers are very generously preparing new products for this very show. The trend, which is more commercial than aesthetic, is that leading manufacturers are starting to offer the most comprehensive solutions for the bathroom, i.e. one-stop shops, when you can address one company and get a complete solution for the bathroom interior. Those who used to produce only furniture offer shower enclosures, bathtubs and freestanding sinks. Those who used to produce only ceramics also start to add to their assortment various furniture compositions, bathtubs, and sometimes even expand their assortment towards wellness. This is also applies to mini pools and poolside showers. As a rule, companies do not change their style and move in one direction. Some work in the more modern style, some in more classic range, and of course, Art Deco aesthetics also remain in high demand. It's good when a company doesn't change its philosophy. Devon and Devon traditionally presents more classic bathroom solutions, with a touch of modernity, and it presents them in four bathrooms. The first one is in a more neoclassical style, and here the main novelty is the flare furniture composition, which is a combination of open and closed storage. In general, it's quite on trend. The main novelty here is the mirror cabinet. This is the first time Devon and Devon makes such a product. It is certainly very convenient because it also has both open and closed storage. This is additional storage with the functionality of a regular mirror, which is certainly very important to have in the bathroom. And for illumination here are separate lamps. It should be said that Devon and Devon is always a complete solution for the bathroom, which includes furniture, accessories and of course ceramic wear. In this case it's presented in a wall hang version because despite the classic design no one cancelled modern trends. The same applies to the trend of color. The long known Hollywood bathtub is presented here in a matte version and in a deep navy blue shade. It can be in any shade and can also be glossy. The trend for a barrier-free environment is also realized in the classic aesthetics of Savoy shower enclosures. This option is now also available from Devon Devon. The 20th, a collection of faucets with the 1920s inspired aesthetics, unifies this entire composition. This collection was conceived with the architectural studio Gensler and won a well-deserved design prize last year. Devon & Devon also excels in projects in the hospitality industry. This is exactly the situation shown here, which is represented by two noble consoles and a freestanding Dove bathtub made of composite. And it's not a simple composite, but a special, environmentally certified composite so it's perfect for good hospitality projects. New this year is the small Jolly Basin, which fulfills another important trend for compact luxury. It is suitable for small bathrooms in small apartments in cities like Paris or London, for example, but it can also be used in any other city. Naturally, the finishes can be different. In this case, it is brushed brass, which look quite nice against the mosaic. And by the way, noble consoles also look very good against the background of slabs from the Secret Gardens collection. We have 
Gardens of Dreams in this instance, which Marcel Wonders created. By the way, it is not necessary to roll all the walls with these gardens. You can make elegant boiserie. The new Metropolitan Collection presents the third situation, which is responsible for Art Deco aesthetics. The designs of small objects that appeared in 1920s and 1930s and the works of Pierre Portaluppi served as inspiration for it. This includes skyscraper radio and Dupont lighters. In general, a lot of different aesthetics have merged here and in the end there is a, such a wonderful expressive object with a very unusual facade. Here the composition is presented in a monocolor finish, a deep anthracit shade of glossy lacquer. Or it can be a combination, then it will look a little more sophisticated. There can be a combination of lacquer and white fluting, maybe even natural polished brass. There are quite a lot of options, just like there are a lot of options for organizing a shower, a rather compact shower in loft style. It can be a shower pipe, i.e. an externally mounted shower system, or you may prefer a built-in one. Devon and Devon has absolutely any option. As for Secret Gardens by Marcel Wonders, here is a somewhat inverted blossom design. It can be made as wallpaper and as ceramic slabs. The dressing table by Marcel Wonders also looks fresh, made in monocolor in a deep dark shade and naturally. The signature silhouette and the famous clown's nose knob are definitely present here. And the fourth situation is the aesthetics with which, first of all, we associate the Devon and Devon brand. It is an English classic, and the well-known Etoile Sinks are presenting it along with some rather contemporary accessories that Massimo Yozaghini has created. It is Kalos. And I think it's very important that a modern classic bathroom can incorporate different design of the present. In fact, a completely new reading of something that seems surprisingly familiar to us. Textured surfaces are such a global trend in interior design. They are in all areas, and certainly in the bathroom, especially on the fronts of furniture. The fronts have a parametric design. There are some variations on the theme of fluting, some wavy surfaces or brushed surfaces presented in different colors. I really like that some companies offer monochrome solutions. It also looks very cool and in some cases these monochrome solutions can literally merge with the tiles. Also, the materials that are usually used for wall finishing are making their way onto the furniture. The Mia Italia collection is developing. First, let's pay attention to the collection with which we are already familiar. It is tango. There is a new finish. A very interesting texture is applied to white lacquer. The lines are of different colors, and due to this grid, there is a certain optical illusion that the lacquer has a slightly different shade. It doesn't appear snow white. And of course, the metallic finish and trendy rose gold is also quite appropriate here. This idea of combining different materials has also been transferred to the already known Portofino collection. And now Portofino is made in a combination of natural stone and lacquer. In addition to the fact that the facades have a certain relief, such as the parametric design combined with the natural stone insert, it looks quite elegant and fresh. There are two brand new collections. One is called Balance, and it is a kind of balance of different shades, different perspectives and different shapes. Here we see both geometric graphics and some perspectives drawn with arches. And on the other hand, these arches refer us to the Art Deco aesthetic. 
It is really a very unusual, ambiguous, but at the same time very balanced collection due to the addition of these completely different meanings and completely different approaches. The functionality of this collection can also be balanced to suit your needs. There are different configurations of wall units with or without drawers, and the internal organization of the wash basin cabinet is also quite peculiar. You are also free to choose finishes and color combinations. And metal hardware can also be different – black matte or polished glossy. And everything will depend on the context as well. I'm sure you'll find your balance. Another novelty that meets modern trends is the Kelim collection. In general, ethnicity is now at the center of attention. And here it is a kind of reworking of ethnic motifs in a modern way. On the one hand, we see these patterns and designs inherent in carpets which were spread from Balkans to Persia. And on the other hand, we see quite trendy colors which are very beautifully called desert rose or oriental sky. And the color of the metal finish can also be different, respectively, there is a huge field for different combination, and if you add tabletops, the choice becomes almost unlimited. I really like the fact that this ethnic story is not interpreted literally, but through the prism of a modern vision. When it comes to ceramics, it is already obvious that color has become the new norm, and white sanitary wear is much harder to find than colored wear. Color glazing technologies allow companies to react quite flexibly to color trends, which change really almost every year, and they are also actively adding new shades to their collections, both in matte and glossy versions. I also find it very interesting to make ceramics look as natural materials, i.e. marble or stone. Some designs do not look very natural, but some stone solutions are quite nice. In the example of Seamus Novelties, let's consider where ceramic manufacturers working in a more modern style are moving. First of all, it draws attention to such a bunch of babies. Compact bathrooms are quite a steady trend. The compact luxury is now penetrating everywhere, because bathrooms in the most large cities unfortunately tend to become smaller. Naturally. All the amazing Seamus colors are here, and there are different configurations that can fit any interior. A semi-recessed sink appeared in the Agile collection. This is a very rarely used option, but it can fit in some situations. What I really liked is the new stone-like glazing of ceramics, and there are two trends here at once. Firstly, the stone texture, and secondly, a very interesting cute shade of pink and a pretty on-trend grey that can actually fit anywhere. What I liked less was the marble texture. Here I would probably like it more if there was an arty 60s, 70s. Although art is also good here. Simus is also trying to attract fresh ideas and has organized the competition for young designers and architects on decorating wash basins. And here are two pieces from the winners. As a direction and as a design idea, it's quite good and, in fact, perhaps it will be developed as a customization option or the Palais of Decor expansion. Any good ceramic manufacturer moves towards offering a complete bathroom solution, and Seamus is no exception in this case. At the Frankfurt Fair, we saw a rather expressive furniture composition called Mobile Stairs. And here at Chersai they continue to develop this idea and present three compositions. Hop, 
is a combination of matte, rather harsh ceramic and black metal on an open console. Quite an unusual aesthetic, something new, I, I must say. Next is Ratio, which is a more rational approach or maybe a reference to rationalism as a style in architecture. There is a combination of three materials – ceramics, metal and wood. The last, but certainly not the least, is 8.1. It is a ceramic wash basin of rather generous shapes combined with the metal and wood and here there is also glass. The glass is in somewhat unusual retro form, such as those popular in the 1980s. Seamus is not an exception to the general trend and they are also trying to adapt the aesthetics of the past, the aesthetics of the second half of the 20th century to modern needs. And as for the technical side of the issue, here too it can be fixed as a trend because we have seen it at the several booths. A lot of good Italian manufacturers have started to use the Vortex Flash. It is more hygienic, it is more silent and accordingly it is more practical. And Siemens showed its version of this solution. The trend for compact luxury continues. Bathrooms are getting smaller and require slightly different solutions. Firstly, everything that can be hidden in the walls is being integrated into them. This concerns, first of all, faucets. There is no news here. It concerns some storage elements, for example, recessed niches. Much attention is paid to barrier-free spaces. In the example of the updated Multi S4000 collection from Duca, let us get to know the main trends in the design of shower enclosures. The first trend, and probably the most important one, is a barrier-free environment. And barrier-free not only in the physical sense, but also in the visual sense. This collection has become more refined, i.e. the wall profile has become much thinner, the hinge joint itself has become much thinner and various details has been minimized, i.e. the lower profile on which the silicon seal is attached has become thinner and the counter magnetic profile is hidden inside the metal element thus ensuring both durability and purity of design. The handle has been renewed, it has a special notch which firstly improves the grip secondly gives a certain tactile sensation and thirdly adds character to this product. It's worth paying attention to small details such as hinges. They are smaller and they look equally beautiful on both the outside and inside of the glass. I think you remember that Duca uses adhesive fixing, so there are no additional holes that could complicate the maintenance of the product. The same applies to additional equipment, such as towel holders. The colors in which this enclosure can be made are also quite relevant. It is either polished or matte silver, and of course matte black too. Another nice detail is that the glass panel has a special cutout, and thus the top line of the door is straight. It seems like a small detail, but architects will realize how cool it is. All hinges are equipped with a return mechanism, i.e. the shower enclosure door itself returns to the initial position. It turns out that even models of rather average price level have all the technological advantages of premium products. Of course, Duca has premium lines as well. Here are already known collections of 5000 series. Aqua 5000 and Pura 5000 in various quite unusual color solutions in very interesting shades. It is worth remembering that the Gallery 3000 collection uses very interesting hinges, which consist of more than 30 different parts, so that the design of this element does not change when it is opened. Its geometry does not change. 
It also has a return mechanism, but the door does not rise as we are used to seeing it and it does return to its original position. Duco offers a large range of so-called walk-ins. This is a series of Libero in various versions. And the solutions for compact bathrooms, which are quite budget-friendly, are also available here. And we got to know them in great detail when we visited the factory and reviewed the showroom in South Tyrol. So definitely take a look. As for the faucets and accessories at the main decoration of the bathroom, they are still colored with a great variety of PVD finishes. A lot of steel faucets and of course brighter colors are also present. And they can be used both inside and outside as pool showers for example. Sanitary is not only aesthetics, but also technology. And it would seem that everything has already been invented, but there is a certain maneuver and certain space for innovation. For example, Chisel has a new push and shower collection. Push buttons control is nothing new, but in this case there is also pressure control and it starts at 5 liters per minute, which is actually quite economical for a shower. The main innovation here lies in the depth of installation. The minimum can be 70 mm, and it certainly gives opportunities to save precious square meters or even square centimeters, which inside bathrooms as a rather compact spaces is important. In terms of aesthetics, PVD coverings on steel are still popular. As for the shapes, there is no consensus. They can be either over thin super sleek or large scale. It should be said that industrial aesthetics has not finally gone into the shade and in certain interiors it can be quite relevant. It is important to know the high-rise collection by Russian designer Mike Shilov, which offers a combination of materials that is still relevant, metal and natural marble. And by the way, the X32 collection offers similar combinations, so here you are free to choose depending on the style you prefer. Faucets are not only found in bathrooms. In kitchens, faucets that simultaneously supply filtered drinking water, both cold and heated to the temperature of 100 degrees, are very relevant. There can also be a combination. You can choose boiling water and immediately make tea from the tap, you can choose cold filtered water and you can choose carbonated water. In general, there is almost a real restaurant water station in your kitchen. Almost all manufacturers are paying attention to sustainability, which means that products are becoming more economical, more practical in terms of care and safer in terms of hygiene. All of this influenced of course by the economic situation, the recent restrictions and partly by the political situation too. Friends, I hope you enjoyed my review and found something useful for you noted some findings and trends that you will apply to your next bathroom project. Thank you, bye.